Welcome to Leaky MOSFET channel. Today, we will show you how to extract and decrypt stock firmware from BIOS update utility for HP Pavilion 14 BF061TX. To accomplish our objective, we will perform four different tasks. 1. Download BIOS update utility for HP Pavilion 14 BF061TX from HP website. 2. Extract the firmware from the downloaded BIOS update utility. 3. Decrypt the extracted firmware. 4. Transfer the DMI information from the old firmware to the stock firmware. Ok, let's do the first task, open your Google Chrome browser, and search for HP Pavilion 14 BF061TX. Type the brand, model, and append BIOS update, then press the Enter key. You can also use this method when searching stock firmware for other brands and models. Correct link for the stock firmware we wanted, will usually be at the top of the list. Click the first link, wait for it to load the website, then collapse the BIOS category and click the download link. Download should start automatically, wait for the download to be completed. Finally, download is completed. We can proceed to the next task. BIOS Creator is a Swiss knife of laptop and MacBook repair technicians, for fixing firmware-related issues, it requires SPI programmer for reading and writing firmware to and from the SPI chip. Open BIOS Creator, select Stock Firmware Tools, and click the HP button. A window will pop up, this allow you to drag and drop the file we downloaded earlier. Now, drag the file sp111724.exe to the window. You will notice that the Extract button becomes enabled. Click the Extract button. A new file will become available at the same folder location. This is the extracted file. Drag this extracted file and click the Extract button again. This time, you will see two bin files. This is our firmware, however, encrypted. OK. In task number 3, we'll decrypt the files. For the last time, drag these encrypted file to decrypt them. This time, the decrypt button is enabled. Click it. You can also drag the two files simultaneously. BIOS Creator will sequentially process them for decryption. Decrypted files does not contain serial number of unique identification of the laptop. If you attempt to flash this stock firmware, the laptop will generate error message during bootup. We'll have to copy the DMI information from the backup firmware to make the error go away. Now, on to the last step, that is, copying DMI information. Close the dialog, if it is open, then navigate to Standard Tools, then click HP DMI Info button. Again, a dialog window will pop up. This dialog window allows you to drag and drop firmware files. Drag the old firmware file to the backup firmware source control. Pay attention to the bit number, you need this information to identify the decrypted firmware that matches with your old firmware. Then drag the stock firmware whose file name is equivalent to the bit number. In this example, we tried to drag the same old backup to demonstrate that BIOS Creator will auto-detect the compatibility of the HP DMI source and destination firmware. We also tried to drag an encrypted firmware file as destination. Again, BIOS Creator won't allow this. Copying of HP DMI information will only work if, if the old and stock firmware has the same bid number. Let's try again. Ops, I clicked the wrong button. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Drag the old firmware here. Drag the compatible stock firmware there. If the bid number is matched, 
then the button becomes enabled. Click it. Finally, we created a stock firmware with the complete DMI information from the old firmware copy to it. Let's summarize what we've done. 1. We downloaded BIOS update utility from manufacturer website. 2. We extracted firmware from this BIOS update utility we downloaded. 3. We decrypted the extracted firmware. 4. We transferred the DMI information from the backup firmware to the stock firmware we created. And, that's it. Task completed, all technical stuff and complexities, performed for us by BIOS Creator. Download your copy of BIOS Creator now.